Hello, Barmy Badger Army. Hey, Badger Army. How's it going? Today, I thought we would talk about Lego and the fact that they have made too many bricks, which is mad. So, obviously, they have miscalculated this supply and the demand, which is mad. I mean, I've got some madcap things I'd like to talk about. I mean, apparently now they are making from sugarcane plastic, which is obviously more environmentally friendly. That's good. That's very good, but obviously the supply and the demand has uh, outweighed itself and that has led the company to problems. So I really hope they get to that sorted out because Badger Jr. loves Lego. He loves Badger, so I should say, um, Batman Lego, all the sort of things. So is the issue that they've produced too much Lego? Yes, it's basically that they've made too much Lego. It's mad, isn't it, when you think about it? To be honest with you, this isn't like <clears throat> huge news because ultimate, because you, everyone has more Lego bricks than they realise. That's Particularly right, that's very true. Particularly if you step on one with bare feet. Yes, I was going to say that. It's not the first time that's happened to <laughs> me. Uh, that's happened quite a few times. Early in the morning when I wake up, roughly about five, maybe half past five in the morning, uh, there's no lights on, obviously, I don't want to wake everyone up. First thing I do is step on a toy or a nasty piece of Lego. And it goes sideways as well, which makes it even worse. Yeah, so you're literally stepping on a sharp point. Uh, but there is a solution. Apparently, Lego have released Lego slippers where you can uh, literally apparently stop the pain, which okay. uh, I need to road test those at some point. I need to get a pair. But uh, yes, what about your feelings with Lego and your childhood memories with Lego, Nick? Um, when, I, well, when I was growing up, I suppose there weren't that many kind of like Lego sets. This like is there very true, now. yeah. yeah. It was you just know. like a load of yeah. stuff, wasn't it? You had kind of like. Um, you know, think you can attach wheels to anything. That's right. Yes. You know, so, so yeah, I kind of that's so yeah, a, attaching wheels to everything mm. was probably the main thing I remember. Yes. I mean, I remember when Paradisa came out. Do you remember Paradisa? No. What's that? That was it's kind of where it's kind of like this this big Lego holiday resort. Okay. And like you can look, you can probably see the advert online. Paradisa, yeah, yeah. Paradisa. This is. It was just imagine the voices are like about like. 10 times higher than higher, me. yes. Uh, so yeah, about 10 octaves higher. <laughs> and yeah, so, and yeah, it's like, this is where we have fun. So yes, it was okay. incredibly annoying theme tune. Mm. And yes, that was, uh, that got stuck in my head. Okay. And we do, we do still have some Paradisa um, in our loft. If you could bring it in next time for one of the shows, that'd be great as a little show and tell. Maybe I'll we'll, maybe we'll have to have a look. I'll have to go up into the loft Ooh. and try and get it try and get it out of the box. Yes, that sounds Probably painful. quite dusty. Dusty. It hasn't been played with for a long time. Oh dear, yes. But I remember like when one of my standout memories was when basically Lego basically saved itself and they basically bought the licenses to Star Wars and that's what rejuvenated the company and, and that's what's made it as success it is now and that's why we've got Batman, Lego, Ninjago, all the other series like Lego got, Knights and things yes. like that. And we've got the movies as well. Yeah, the movies are fantastic. I really enjoyed those. One of Badger Jr's favourites is the Lego movie. We watch it at least twice a week and of course the Batman Lego film as well at least twice a week. He absolutely adores it. So, you know, it's mad that they've overproduced and they need to sell it off quicker. Um, you know, well, obviously... Well, I suppose it kind of... I suppose, yeah, it's kind of like... Well, that's kind of like being a victim of your own success, I suppose. If yes, you, exactly. So you've you, got to be very careful. You know, I mean, it's one. It's that case where you're probably better off overproducing than underproducing. This is very um, true, yeah. But know, obviously... If there, was the... a shortage of, if there was a shortage of Lego, mm. then, you know... Think how many angry parents out there there would be. Oh, goodness me. But then, obviously, you've got to be careful. In this climate, they've obviously paid out too much money, so they need the returns. So, hopefully, guys, I would suggest now is the time to pick up lots of cheap Go Lego. Go and buy lots of Lego! Go and buy lots of Lego now, because apparently it's all going to be on a big sale. So, it's going to be interesting to see what happens with that. So, I'm really pleased we got a chance to do this quick video, Nick, on uh, the Lego memories. We'll be doing more as it comes, and we're going to be finishing off the retro look back that we did the other day at some point as well. So, thank you very much for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the show, Patreon, or Super Chat, or of course, sponsor if you'd like. And uh, I hope everyone is well, and uh, it's bye from me. And bye from him. Bye for now, Barmy Badger Army. Ta ta. See you later on, guys. Big shout out to everyone that sponsors, Super Chats, or patrons the show. Thank you, everyone. Bye.